Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A snail who wants to become a racing driver has the chance to fulfill his dream when an unexpected event grants him superpowers. Today we will recap the story of the 2013 movie, Turbo. Theo is a snail in love with Formula One and considers Guy Gagne, the best driver of all time, his greatest idol. However, his brother, Chet, cannot understand his passion for those races and is always trying to bring Theo back to reality. Despite being slow by nature, the snail does not intend to give up his dream and trains to increase his speed. When he finishes the course, Theo looks at his watch and is happy to discover that he has broken his own record, covering 36 centimeters in 17 minutes. Every morning the neighborhood snails wake up and slowly crawl to the tomato plantation. Throughout the day, some members of that community are captured by crows, but everyone treats this tragedy very normally. In the bed, the mollusks select the best tomatoes to be harvested, but the biggest one is located at the tip of a branch. To avoid taking unnecessary risks, the snails decide to wait until the fruit falls on its own and then they can eat it. Meanwhile, they discard the rotten tomatoes and Theo uses the rotten fruit as an opponent to simulate a race, being a laughingstock to his colleagues. When he realizes that all the snails are making fun of him, the young snail feels ashamed and leaves. At this point, Cal, the leader of that community, approaches Chet and asks him to talk to his brother. During lunch, Chet asks Theo to forget his dream of becoming fast, because it is not in his nature. That afternoon, the crusher leaves the house and the snails activate the warning signal. In an attempt not to be crushed, they hide inside their shells and roll away. After eating, Theo goes to the garage and drinks a can of energy drink while watching a guy interview on TV. Watching his idol's speech, he feels even more inspired to become a champion and gets so excited that he spills his drink. When the liquid touches the TV wire, a short circuit occurs and the TV stops working. While trying to turn it back on, Theo knocks over the television set and can no longer watch any of Guy's interviews. Upon hearing about it, Chet feels relieved, because now his brother will no longer be influenced to run. While they are talking, the giant tomato finally falls from the tree and ends up on the lawn. The snails run to get it, but give up their food when they see the gardener. Determined not to accept defeat, Theo decides to go for the tomato and bets a race with the lawnmower. Just as he is about to reach his goal, the gardener approaches, and if not for his brother, the young snail would have been shredded. After this shameful defeat, Theo leaves and, during the night, decides to take a walk in the city. He is delighted to see all those vehicles and is distracted as a truck passes right in front of him at high speed. At that moment, Theo is thrown onto the track and ends up on the hood of a racing car. The snail is ecstatic at that speed and is pushed into the engine of the vehicle. Determined to win that race, the pilot releases nitrous oxide to increase the engine's power and Theo drowns in the liquid. When the substance invades its body, the mollusk's organism changes and it is expelled out of the car. Theo passes out for a few hours, and when he wakes up, he, he realizes that he is being carried by insects that intended to serve him as dinner. There are three crows flying over the place and the snail has to hide in a Chinese food box to avoid being When he gets home, he realizes that something is wrong with his body, as his eyes begin to light up like headlights and a siren starts beeping from inside his shell. Meanwhile, the local community is gathered in the garden for a meeting and yet another member is captured by crows. As if nothing had happened, Chet tells his listeners about the new security policies. Suddenly, loud music comes from Theo's body, which has just arrived, and no one understands what is happening. Embarrassed, he decides to leave the garden and is caught by the crusher. The boy tries to run over the snail and is surprised to realize that the creature has super speed. When he realizes that his life is at stake, Theo manages to activate his new powers and dodges all the attacks of that demented kid. By getting on the front wheel of the tricycle, he manages to knock the boy down, but is unable to stop the vehicle before it hits the flowerbed. On that day, the entire tomato plantation is destroyed and his friend's home is completely ruined. Furious, Cal kicks the snail out of the community, and Chet is also swarmed when he tries to defend his brother. When the leaders leave, Chet goes to settle the score with the clam that ruined his life, but is captured by a crow and Theo must save him. Once again, he activates his hyperspeed and chases the bird all over the city of Los Angeles. Suddenly, another crow appears and competes for the food. One of the birds then tries to escape with its prey, but is surrounded. Just as Chet was about to be devoured, Theo runs towards him and manages to save him. The snail is devoured instead of his brother, but uses his superpowers to free himself from the animal's stomach. When Chet realizes that he is a long way from home, he gets desperate and his brother tries to calm him down. Theo assures him that everything will be fine, at which point they are captured by a human. Tito takes the two mollusks into his van and drives to a store, it is already night and all the stores are closed. 
Upon entering the place, the snails encounter a group of people and discover that they have been brought there to participate in a race along with other creatures of their kind. While the competitors try to complete the course, Chet tries to find a way to escape and Theo remains standing in the same place. Upon seeing the immobile animal, the punters begin to jeer at him, so the mollusk decides to demonstrate his true skill. It runs the entire route quickly and goes around the entire block in a few seconds. At this point, both the humans and the other snails are impressed by his speed and Tito feels he has found a gold mine. However, Angelo does not support his brother's craziness and tries to convince him to work alongside him in the cafeteria. The two brothers come from Mexican families and sell tacos for a living, but Tito dreams of achieving more than that. That night, while the humans are sleeping, Whiplash and his team invite Theo to a race in the streets. The first to reach the top of the star will be the winner. What Theo didn't expect was that the group would take a shortcut and use the electrically conducting wires to slide to their final destination. The mollusk tries to catch up with them, but ends up losing the race because he can't jump from the pole to the sign. The next morning, Tito tries to find a way to make Theo successful with his ability and the mollusk manages to convince Guy to sign him up for the Indianapolis 500, a 500-mile race in which Guy will participate. The problem is that in order to enter this competition a fee of $20,000 must be paid, and Tito asks his brother's permission to use his savings, because the race will give them publicity. However, Angelo refuses to hand over the money and says that this is a great folly. Even so, Tito is determined to participate in the race and prepares a beautiful presentation to convince his friends to invest in his snail. But no matter how persuasive their arguments may be, no one is willing to sponsor Theo's participation in the Indy 500. Therefore, Whiplash and his team devise a plan to convince those humans to invest in the snail. To do this, they attack a tour bus and take everyone to the street where Tito and his friends work. When the vehicle approaches, Byrne throws some nails to puncture the tires, making it impossible for the driver to leave immediately. As soon as the tourists show up, Theo uses his speed to attract their attention, and all the local merchants benefit, because it has been a long time since they have had so many customers in their store. Even after seeing the potential of that snail, Angelo refuses to invest in the race and Tito begins to lose hope. That afternoon, however, his friends decide to pool all the money they have earned from the tourists to sponsor Theo's participation in the competition. The next morning they leave for Indianapolis and Angelo is left to run the store alone. Suddenly, his stove explodes and the man decides to buy a new one. However, when he goes to look at his savings, he finds that Tito has taken the money to complete the registration fee. Immediately, Angelo calls his brother, but Tito decides that he will only answer him after the race, when he receives the prize. During the trip, the group thinks of a codename to register Theo in the competition and the snails come together to form the name, Turbo. Next, the mollusk debuts the new armor he got especially for participating in the Indy 500. When they arrive at the stadium, the group is enchanted by the grandeur of the place and is privileged to see, firsthand, Guy Champion breaking his own speed record on the track. Despite being unsure about Theo's ability to win the race, Tito goes to sign him up and is swarmed by the security guards when they discover that the competitor is a snail. Just ahead of them, Guy is giving an interview and the mollusk comes up with a plan to get his attention. He drags Tito close to the pilot and the man takes advantage of the reporters nearby to introduce Turbo as the new competitor. Immediately, the duo manages to get a laugh out of everyone in the place, but when they witness Theo's hyperspeed, the audience is impressed. At the end of the race, the scoreboard indicates that the snail was able to beat the speed record of the world's greatest driver and gains media attention. One of the kids who was watching the race managed to record the snail and uploaded the video to the internet. A few hours later, Turbo goes viral and the recording reaches the CEO of IndyCar. Before the race, the man makes a pronouncement and forbids the snail from participating in the race. Not satisfied with this decision, Tito continues to insist that he give Turbo a chance, and Guy decides to intervene. The pilot takes advantage of the press to increase his popularity and asks reporters to record as he makes an appeal for the CEO to give the little snail a chance to fulfill his dream. The request of the public and his best pilot, the man decides to allow Turbo to participate in the contest, and Chet is furious to realize that his brother is willing to risk his life for an impossible dream. During the night, he tries to convince Theo to drop out of the race and says that he will not be in the grandstand watching his only brother being slaughtered by 32 race cars. Disappointed by his brother's attitude, Theo gets out of the van and goes for a walk around the stadium. He feels happy knowing that there is only one day left to fulfill his greatest dream. As he approaches the garage, he sees some guys closing the gate and rushes over to take a look at the race cars. As Theo admires the trophies, Guy approaches him. Guy initially seems friendly, and the snail is happy to meet his great idol up close. However, 
The pilot soon reveals who he really is and Theo realizes that this guy is nothing like he imagined. Guy's only reason for supporting Turbo's participation in the championship was because it will bring more people to watch the race and, in the final stretch, they will be able to see the best driver in the world win yet another competition. The next morning, everyone gets ready for the big day, but as promised, Chet decides not to attend the stadium. While sliding under a table, the snail is captured by a boy who takes it directly to the stand. The boy goes to meet his parents to buy some snacks and leaves Chet trapped inside a glass with a panoramic view of the competition. The competitors are already on the track handing out autographs when Tito enters with his van, on which is drawn the logo of his snack bar. The man then says goodbye to Turbo and wishes him good luck. The race begins, and slowly the little guy uses his hyper speed and diminutive size to overtake his competitors. But it doesn't take long before he realizes that if he is not careful, he will end up being crushed by the cars. By the time the competitors make their first pit stop, Theo is completely stunned and frightened by the brutality of the competition. Tito and his friends try to make the proper adjustments so that the snail can continue the race, but they end up getting in the way because of nervousness and Whiplash's team needs to step in. Meanwhile, Guy takes a coffee break and signs a few autographs before heading back to the track. After getting his body lubed up and relaxing with a few seconds of music, Turbo gets a jolt from Whiplash. The mollusk advises him to stop running like a car and start running like a snail, only then will he have any chance of winning. By following his friend's advice, Theo is able to advance down the lane much more easily and uses his headlights to see as he passes underneath vehicles. Due to the exposure at the start of the race, the Taco Brothers stand has become well-known, and Angelo serves dozens of customers while watching the race on TV. By now, Chet has become a fan of his brothers, and has become glued to the competition. And has become enchanted with the race. Theo manages to masterfully dodge all the accidents that happen on the track due to his diminutive size. Now the only opponent ahead of him is Guy Champion, who is not willing to put his title as the fastest competitor in the world at risk. In an attempt to stop the snail from overtaking, the man pushes him into the corner of the track, where there are thousands of pieces of rubber that have come loose from the tires throughout the race. These fragments pose great danger to Theo and he ends up being brutally thrown against the wall. From then on, the mollusk can barely see what is happening in front of him and is the last competitor to complete that lap. Seeing the damage his friend has suffered, Tito decides to take him out of the race, otherwise Theo will be at serious risk of his life. Everyone agrees with the boy's decision, but Turbo refuses to abandon the competition. Determined to do his best, the snail manages to catch up with his opponents and regains his position. However, when he is in the middle of the track, his powers begin to fail and he cannot sustain second place for long. As he looks back, he remembers the lawnmower that almost crushed him and decides that this time he will be able to escape on his own. Theo then uses the rest of his energy to complete the last lap and takes the lead. Now all he needs to do is hold on to first position, but Guy refuses to lose out to a snail and overtakes his opponents by going around the corner of the track. When driving at high speed through the rubber fragments, his vehicle begins to slide and causes a serious accident involving all the competitors. In the final stretch, the track was completely blocked off, and while his opponents receive medical attention, Turbo decides to end the race. He is very close to the finish line, but his powers let him down. Seeing the hole in his shell, Theo hides and decides to abandon the competition. When he realizes that his brother is giving up on his dream, Chet decides to do something and manages to free himself from that glass. He escapes out the window and jumps into a balloon before the boy can capture him again. Chet has no way down until Whiplash and his friends appear, mounted on crows, to rescue him. When he approaches Theo, his brother encourages him to finish the race and assures him that he doesn't need superpowers to fulfill his dreams. Inspired by these words, Turbo goes on his way, causing a great commotion among the people in the audience. But Guy does not accept to see anyone getting more attention than him and decides to continue the race, even if he has to drag his car around the track. Realizing that Theo is about to cross the line, the pilot tries to crush him with his feet, but the mollusk manages to shake off the attacks and follows his brother's advice. He hides in his shell and rolls until he crosses the finish line, becoming the first snail in history to win a Formula 1 race. That day Turbo and his team were on the cover of the newspaper along with the trophy. After that, life changed completely for Tito and his friends. The boy managed to give Angelo a brand new stove so that he could continue making his tacos. Kim Lee filled up the schedule at her beauty salon. Paz got several customers for her workshop and Bobby attracted several buyers to his store. After the competition, Theo gained a legion of fans who traveled from different states to Los Angeles just to see him participate in new races. After a few days of rest, his shell is fully healed and Turbo has regained his powers. He is very happy to have his speed back, but more importantly, 
he now knows that he doesn't need any super skills to get his dreams off the ground. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.